G'day guys and welcome to the Waffle Pan with the Magnus. Um, well, what's new and what's recent? Well, for me, not much. Um, I have been working towards getting my E75 a fair bit today. I've played quite a few battles, had quite a few disappointing battles. Um, they were disappointing from the point of view of um, What's the word? It, it was it, more or less people not playing. Um, now it is three times weekend here um, on the Asian server. I think it's three times in most play places at the moment. Um, just for all the D-Day commemorations. Uh, um, and I have quite enjoyed, um, well, listening to um, and, and watching it, but a lot of the time it, it is very difficult. I've had a few battles where I've done 2,000 damage and not many people have broken the 1,000 points at tier 8, so it's it, it's showing there are a lot of new players to server, and I do see that a lot at the moment. Um, XVM, as you all know, if you use it, shows you and tells you how many um, how many battles someone's played. Um, I know that I'm playing with my brother-in-law Shojimaru um, and he hasn't even done a thousand battles yet but he's he's coming along and that's because we're well, between Kaz and I we are showing him how to play. Um, I didn't actually get to do a hundred video bash like I planned. Um, it is very hard to organize everyone to be on at the same time and just because of those factors you just got to well, roll of the punches, basically. Um, I haven't played that much War Thunder this week. Um, I've played a fair bit in in the planes on my British planes, um, but I haven't been able to actually play play because Kaz is not up to tier three plane line like I am. So it means I can't really farm out the planes that I've got. I've got to stay in the tier two range to um, to bring the battles down to his level, just to give him a bit of an advantage. Um, so it, it's one of those things where you just have it, so. Um, now lately I have been reading quite a fair bit of, um, war stuff. I, I picked up a book just recently, and, um, it's basically called The Struggle for Victory, 1944 to 1945. It's actually not a bad book. It's done by, who is it done by? Oh, one of the museums. I can't remember who. It's not grab and find it while I'm talking. Here we are. Uh, the Imperial War Museum. Uh, so, and it's not a bad sort of book. It's got a lot of pictures and diagrams and plans and layouts and everything like that. And it, 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 it starts off with uh, D-Day, which was in June the 6th, 1944. And I thought, you know what, why not pick this book up now and start learning a few things. Um, so it was it was quite interesting how it went from a strategy of being a handful of guys that they were going to use basically to nearly the whole of the Allied army marching in on that one shoreline at Normandy, um, and it took a long time to plan. Nearly it took I think it was three to four years to plan that actual battle to um, go ahead and happen. So he went through a lot of drastical changes. Um, now I haven't read a great deal of detail, I'm still going through it. But what I know was it was probably one of the worst battles um, the Allies had. And it was probably a bit of a flop at the same time. Um, there was a lot of casualties, a lot of deaths, and it was just ridiculous. We just rolled up on a shoreline that was so heavily guarded that you got mowed down before you even got off the boats, most of them. Most of them died there and there in the ocean. So it was it was a very big, um, tragical battle. This is actually quite funny. <laughs> As you can see, I've, I've got my KV-1, and the KV-1 is not bad. Um, I've used a lot of the experiences I've learned from World of Tanks in this with angling armor and things like that but you don't need to worry a great deal with this tank. Um, it, it's one of those things. So um, 
Now, there, one, there was a few different things I was asked this week about tanks. Um, well, not in tanks in general, about War Thunder. Now, War Thunder came online for the PlayStation 4. Um, one of my friends that I have, um, I don't know what to call him, I'll just call him Dave for the time being. Um, I don't like Dave. I call, call him Steve. Steve sounds better. Like Scuba Steve, basically. Something, something. I don't know, everyone uses Dave, so I'll use Steve. Um, he was going to download it, but it's a 30 gigabyte download. And he's like, it's a 30 gigabyte download. I'm like, yeah, it is a big game. And, well, that's the price you pay if you want to play games like this. You, you've got to understand that they're big games. Oh, this poor little fella. He tries to get around me. He does a good job. He gets around me. But, he keeps bouncing off me no matter what he does. Now, my gun has been taken out of action here. Um, I'm just sort of trying to turn my tank and get a position. I've glanced off the side of his turret there. And, um, yes, it's a, and there's a double shot. One, one hell, he got shot. And a couple of my own allies came in and started to help me here. Um, then he just blew up. <laughs> Oh dear, he's actually called, I think he has, or someone else has actually called in an artillery barrage right now, and I'm like, I'm not getting out of here, and somehow, every single artillery shot has missed me. So that's not too bad, and then this guy on the hill, I think the guy on the hill must have called it in, because he's just laying flak fire into me. But that's okay, I can take it. Um, so yeah, um, so that was interesting, so... It's still quite a big game on the PlayStation, but um, the great news is it's probably the first time I've seen um, seen sort of an experimental level where um, PlayStation or a console has been used across to a PC, and I, I do hope to see a lot more of it because I do have friends that play certain other games that I can't play with because they only play with them on their console units and I generally don't play a lot of consoles, I don't actually own a console outside of like the Wii that's like last generation consoles um, so yes I am lacking behind in console department but PC is not too bad um, I am looking at getting a new um, video card for it um, which is something I've got to do um, but that's the way it is. Staying with the uh, Russian theme today, I've gone from the KV-1 and Ground Forces over to my KV-1S. Um, this one I, I played probably earlier in the week. Um, and I played this with um, Kaz and Sho. Um, more or less just playing because we needed something to do. And um, I got sick of grinding in my VK-30 one P, um, so took this out for a spin. Kaz is just like, why, dude? Why? That thing is just not fair. Well, it might not be fair, but it's fair for me. Everyone else uses them, so why can't I? Well, I could be using my KV2 after all, but no, I'm not. I'm using the KV1S. Now, we already played the KV2, I think, before this. So, um, but yeah, so doing a little bit of reading. Now, I do encourage you all, if you, you want to learn about things, the best way to do it is to read, watch videos. Um, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there um, that you can watch um, and do um, to learn things. Um, now, I've, I've always been an ancient history person. I've always enjoyed reading about um, Egypt and Rome and Greece and all of them over the years. Um, so it's only been sort of in the recent times that I have actually um, more or less started getting into modern history and it, it really started to stem from when I started learning about these tanks. I started reading a little bit of history on them when I was trying to outkit particularly in World of Tanks and see what's the best way to set them up and it, it sort of sparked a little bit more of an interest for me on um, sort of the modern history side of tanks, basically. Or, well, not tanks, but of war. That's a nice shot. 
nice little sneaky shot there. Can I get another one? And yeah, oh, so I only detract him. Ah, well. And so, um, and I think that's the great advantage of this game. The, the, the games in general have actually brought it into a new level. Now, I have looked at playing the campaigns a bit more. That guy's just sitting there. I'll probably detract him. Um, into the ground forces campaign stuff because they actually give you a lot of detail and they're pretty well historically accurate. Um, I recently heard, well, this is going back a little while ago now, that um, a lot of the maps in War Thunder are actually based on a, a actual location um, in our world. Um, and they've basically, the only difference is like the sandbars and things like that where they've altered the different directions. So they're, they're, they're the little details that I've also found out recently as well um, that is basically involved in War Thunder. They've actually done a very realistic setting. Um, it, it just... It's incredible how realistic they've actually set themselves up. Oh, that was a pity. I get the experience anyway. <laughs> if anyone hits him, pretty sure he dies now. Yep, there's a shot. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, so they, they've... And I think that's the great thing about War Thunder. Um, it, it's... It's done a lot of research. Now, I don't know how they've gone with the whole ground forces stuff, but I've heard that I think very, very soon, ground forces is actually going to start going against the plane. So, we'll probably find on some of the actual plane maps that we play regularly, we will start seeing tanks rolling around below us a bit more. And from that point, perspective it's going to make the game that a little bit more different because we're going to actually have sort of AIs that's a tricky shot there I only just got that one um, so you go from having AIs shooting at you to actually real people shooting at you in tanks so that's going to be interesting when that starts to get going a bit more now I don't know how far away they are from doing that but I have heard that um, it, it shouldn't be too far away from actually going ahead. Um, I, I, I don't know when, but I read something that it said that they were they were looking like it was going to happen. Maybe it's already happened and I'm not really noticing it. Like, you do notice it to a certain extent that there are some planes flying around above you when you're in your tanks, but not that much. So, that's something I'm really looking forward to. Like, it'd be great to see them that you could fly your planes and your tanks at the same and drive your tanks at the same time that would just be amazing but I don't think they're going to do something like that I think it's going to be more or less you either choose what you want to play in and then if you're lucky enough to have a tank on the ground that you can blow up with a bomb or shoot with an armor piercing round that was an unlucky shot I should have just pushed up but didn't want to have that TD on my left um, so yeah I don't know how well they're going to do it now it feels like to me also that I've noticed that World of Warships have really started to push content out into um, into the world as well. There was an E3 trailer that came out just recently. You can look it up. It's it's not much. It's just more of a, a, a video of gameplay than anything else. Um, but at the same time... Um, it's sort of one of those things that you've got to accept um, it, and it will be great as soon as it happens um, I'm really looking forward to sailing around the Pacific and places like that in my ships um, it's going to be really good and I think the, the, the biggest advantage is everyone's going to be on the same playing field now I don't know when they're going to do that it's still in the alpha stage what the <laughs> So that's going to be quite interesting when that happens. So I, I will be enjoying that in months to come if they do anything as well. So 
Um, not much else I can say, guys. Um, that's it for another Waffle Pan episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you'd like to leave a comment, um, amongst other things, uh, and yeah, um, comment, like, Facebook page, subscribe, is all there. So, thank you guys, enjoy what you're doing, that's all I can say. Um, if you like tanks, play tanks. If you like planes, play planes. But that's all that. Happy hunting, guys. I'll catch you in the skies, and I'll see you on those battlefields. Uh, one more. One more to go. There you go. There's that sneaky arty. See you guys.